Our next prayers for today is the prayers concerning the heavens. Now let me kind of explain the position, if you would, of the believer and what gives him authority to operate in the heavens. As God's children, born again through Jesus Christ, we are citizens of two kingdoms. Uh, or I should I say in a better term, two realms. We operate in two realms. Uh, one, we live here on planet Earth, the physical. Number two, we have authority, or the Bible says that we sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So we live here and we live there. We live in the natural and we live in the spiritual. Paul had a principle which he taught first that which is natural, then that which is spiritual. First that which is natural, then that which is spiritual. We were first born sons of Adam. As men, we have authority on earth. The Bible says that God gave men the earth. The earth belongeth unto man. That's what God gave us. At the new born again experience because of the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ, we have now been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Now, the literal kingdom of Christ has not appeared. But what God has given us, which have so astounded the devil, if you would, and so miscombobulated his kingdom, is that now these human beings have authority to enter and travel in and out of his domain at will. But what gives us authority in that realm is the word of God, being born again and the word of God and the authority of the Holy Ghost. So when we declare these prayers concerning the heavens, believe in your heart for you shall receive what you believe. Believe in your heart that these words are going forth in the heavens over your situation, over your ministry, over the lives of your children, over your personal life, that it is went into the heavens, listen now, and it is changing. Yes, yes, yes. All you have to do is just the day that you listen at this, write down what you're believing God for, what you're expecting to come from the heavens, write it down. Go back to the video. Listen again. Agree with it. Sometimes repetition is the best teacher. Go back and listen at it again. And when you listen at it again, just mark it on the mark it down in your journal and watch the word of God concerning the heavens be made manifest in your life. And Father, we thank you and we release the presence of the heavens. In Jesus' name, we release the presence of the heavens. In Jesus' name, we release it. In Jesus' name, we release the presence of the heavens. Right now, all over YouTube goes all over the world. Oh my God, just the magnitude of what we as believers can do. We, I'm talking about we just go all over the world. We can take authority if you, wherever you hear this broadcast, at, wherever you hear this video or see this video, wherever you begin to claim and proclaim the releasing and concerning the heaven, believe that God is going to move on your behalf. I believe it. The anointing of God is all over me now. And I receive it. Amen. Let us get to the prayers. Apostolic prayers concerning the heavens. We are sitting in heavenly places in Christ. Far above all principality, power, might, and dominion. We take our position in the heavens and bind the principalities and powers that operate against our lives and the lives of our children and loved ones in the name of Jesus. We break and rebuke every program in the heavens that would operate against us through the sun, the moon, the stars, and the constellations. We bind and rebuke any ungodly forces against us through Octopus, Pleiades, Mazaroth, and Orion. 
We bind and rebuke all moon deities and demons operating through the moon in the name of Jesus. We bind all sun deities and demons operating through the sun in the name of Jesus. We bind all deities and demons operating through the stars and planets in the name of Jesus. The sun shall not smite us by day nor the moon by night. The heavens were created to be a blessing in our lives. We receive the rain and blessing from heaven upon our life in the name of Jesus. We pray for angels to be released to war against any spirit in the heavens assigned to block our prayers from being answered. We bind the prince of the power of the air in the name of Jesus. We pray for the floodgates of heaven to be opened over our lives. We pray for an open heaven and we bind any demonic interference from the heavens in the name of Jesus. Let the evil powers of heaven be shaken in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens drop dew upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Bow the heavens and come down, O oh Lord, on our behalf. Let the heavens be open over our lives and let us see visions in the name of Jesus. Shake the heavens, O oh Lord, and fill our houses with your glory. Thunder in the heavens against the enemy, O oh Lord. Let the heavens drop at the presence of God. Let the heavens praise thy wonders, O oh Lord. Show your wonders in the heavens. Cry out upon the heavens and release your voice, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release your manifold wisdom to the powers in the heavens through the church. In the name of Jesus. Release it Father. Release it Father in the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord. Release it in China. Release it in Malaysia. Release it in Asia. Release it in Russia and England Lord. Release it in Japan. Release it Lord. In the Muslim nations. Lord come down with your presence. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for every miracle. We thank you, Lord God, because the heavens have come down upon. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we bless you, Lord. And we give you the praise. We give you all the honor. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.